everyone, I'm Shannon Kantner and welcome to Class Act, a new CMSD TV program where we feature some of our outstanding scholars from all across the district. Today I'm joined by three students from Lincoln West High School. Thank you guys so much for being here, decked out in your colors and everything. It's wonderful to have you. All right, so why don't we just start with some introductions. Just feel free to go down the line. Okay, I'm Bronze Jackson, um, senior class of 2016. Awesome, that's soon. Yes, yes very, very soon. <laughs> All right. Hello, I'm Jan Brian Lopez. Um, my name is Brian Lopez. I am a junior, and it's just great to be here. Um, I'm Christy Carlton, and I'm a senior at Lincoln West High School, and it's amazing to be here. Give me one. All right, so why don't we just start um, you guys telling me what it's like to be a student at Lincoln West? Um, it's just, just amazing, really, you know. Uh, the whole experience, the whole journey that we took since uh, sophomores, you know, leading up till now, it's just been amazing. Like, be, being a part of the Wolverine family means a lot to me because, you know, um, you know, you, you really don't get this type of love or anything at other high schools. I've been to other high schools out of state and, you know, in the inner city, and none of them could compare to Lincoln West, so I find myself just traveling back. That's why I want to become a math teacher and find my way back to Lincoln West so I can give the great experience that I had to the others that will be there in the future. Wow, that's amazing. We will make sure to talk about that a little later yeah. on. Great. All right. Um, it's great to be in Lincoln West. I've been there since like late ninth grade because I just came from Puerto Rico. So it's been really great to be there. My older brother was in Lincoln West a long time ago and he had a great experience. He's right now, he went to college for two years and he's doing great. And I'm just happy to be part of Lincoln West since I'm a Wolverine now. So was this your first school since moving from Puerto Rico? Yes. You came to Cleveland and went to school there. So what was that transition like for you? How did, how did it feel to become part of that school? It felt kind of like difficult because I didn't know anybody and everybody was just come like polite. Everyone was nice to the new people and it was just great. I mean, I felt comfortable and accepted. That's great. All right, thank you. Christy? I have been a Wolverine since ninth grade. I'm a senior currently, and ever since being at Lincoln West, it has made me so much of a better person than I was before, and I think our community is really improving a lot because of Lincoln West and because of all the great things we do at Lincoln West. So what is your favorite part? It sounds like you guys already have a lot of wonderful things to say about Lincoln West, but what's your favorite part about being a student there? Um, well, just everything about it, really. You know, um, I'm a part of the student leadership committee, student council, and, you know, we take our trips to the Dominican Republic, to Washington, D.C., and we do our service learning projects. We do whatever we can to help better our community, and that's one of the things that I love about Lincoln West because we not only care about the school, but we care about what happens outside of school, We're preparing you for life outside of school. If you want to go to college or you want to uh, maintain a career after leaving high school, it's just wonderful. Great. Either um, one of you? <laughs> I think probably my best moment being in Lincoln West was probably when I was in 10th grade. When I was a sophomore. I went to Michigan for a, to have an experience of having being in a third world country. Wow. And it was amazing. I liked it. Even though we had no technology, it was still a lot of fun. So where, where did you go in Michigan? Well, I, wouldn't, I can't really remember the exact <laughs> place we went, but we were in like a big forest. There was like cabins and everything. And we had to gain the experience how would it live in Thailand in a third world country. So we had to cook our own food, we had to look for our own supplies, and we had to trade with other countries around us. Wow. Well, if I ever go camping, I'm calling you, Brett. <laughs> 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 Sounds good. All right, and Christy, your favorite experience or favorite part about being a student there? I, well, they're all kind of combined in one. Um, like he said, I've been to the Michigan trip they go every year and it's an amazing trip to find out wh where, what, thir what's it's <laughs> what it's like to live in a third world country such as Africa or the slums even here in America, everywhere and it all kind of makes 
you have a different sense for everybody else around. And I think most of my parts, most, most of my best parts are from the school, like being in National Honor Society, being the chance to be on the student council and sports teams. And the whole Lincoln West experience is something that if you blink, you'll miss out. Wow. Uh, well, you guys, this is a perfect transition because I was just going to ask all of you what kind of activities you're involved in. It sounds like a lot. I don't know if we even have time to go over all the activities you're involved in, but from what I can see here, the obvious ones are bronze, you're a football player, but yeah, feel free to talk yeah. to me about more things than that. <laughs> yeah, um, yes, I am a part of the football team, also the wrestling team, the track team, uh, basketball, yeah, uh, the whole nine. <laughs> okay, so you're ready for the Olympics. Yeah. Yes, Sounds basically, like <laughs> powerlifting, all types of things. Um, but I'm also part of the um, student leadership committee, so my whole year consists of just working constantly. Um, I'm not more, like, when you hear the name student athlete, I feel like I truly define that because, you know, student always comes first. I make sure I maintain a, a 3.0 and, you know, um, I make sure I'm involved in my school. So being in the Student Leadership Committee, we go to our BBB meetings and... Um, for people, sorry, I'm gonna pause just for a second. For people who don't know what the Student Leadership Community is or the BBB meetings, can mm -hmm. someone talk a little, if you wanna talk a little bit more about those, just so we get an idea and then continue on with um, what you're... Our BBB meetings are basically just, you know, we meet with all the schools that are, um, not only in our Senate, but in the city. And we talk to CEO Eric Gordon, and we basically give him our input. So it's not only the teachers, but the students have a role in deciding what they want. So if we feel like our ACT scores aren't high enough, we have a say in that. We need you know, after school programs and stuff like that. So we actually get the chance to determine what we want in our schools. and. That's what I feel like. It's, it's, it's just amazing. Um, I'm also a part of the student council, and in student council, we, you know, um, plan almost everything that goes on in the school. So we have our um, blood drives. We have our um, cultural fest, and what Dr. Javier was speaking to you about. Um, and my favorite, you know, the food. I love the food. <laughs> but, um, Especially the concession stand. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> But um, we have all types of things that um, just go on at Lincoln West, and I'm just happy to be a part of every single thing. You know, it's Great. just amazing. Sounds like you really are putting the student in student athlete, though, given yes. everything yes. that you're taking on. Wow, it's impressive. All right, thank you, Ron. Okay, Frank. Uh, well, I, it looks like. Sorry, I'm gonna even stop you right there. It looks like ROTC, but <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you can talk to me about more than just that. Obviously. I mean, I'm taking. We all take different languages every year. We learn different languages. This year, I'm learning Japanese. It's it's not complicated at all, <laughs> to tell you the truth. I mean, Japanese is probably one of the easiest languages you'll probably learn. Are you lying? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Say something in Japanese, then. All I know is, um, giritz means get up. Rei means bow. Onegai shimas means think well of us. And chakseki means sit down. <laughs> I know sushi, so <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty impressive. <laughs> all right, uh, any anything else besides learning Japanese? Um, we all take we take seminar seminars, junior, senior. I don't know. They take freshman seminars or sophomores, yeah. but I mean, you can learn different things, especially around with the different people you study with. It's all different cultures, different color skins, everything's always different in the school. And it makes you feel accepted because nothing's the same. Mm -hmm. And I think that's pretty good because you don't want to wake up every day and just have the same thing going over and over again. You want something different and that's why I like Lincoln West. I go there because I like having a different thing happening in a day, every day. That's awesome. And what about ROTC? How did you decide you wanted to be a part of that, and how is it helping you, encouraging you? I thought it'd be great to be a part of because my background is like very, you know, very like not good. <laughs> I mean, I've, I used to get into a lot of fights a long time ago, wow. and 
I entered JROTC because they said that it would probably calm me down, learn how to like stay still, turn the other cheek. And it's actually learning really good. And what came to me was because like I just became squad leader. Congratulations. So instead of someone looking over me, I had to look over my squad and tell them what to do and make sure they're paying attention to the classroom. So like that, they would know how it feels to not to turn from a better from a hurt, from a bad person to a better person, and that's actually the mission of the JROTC. Turn a bet, turn one student into a better citizen. Well, no wonder you're sitting in the center here and you're not swiveling at all in that chair, sort of <laughs> overlooking and helping these guys out, right? <laughs> Just saying, right there, very tell. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you for your honesty too. That it really sounds like it helped you kind of do a 180. Yeah, great. Yes. All right, and Chrissy. Um. <laughs> That's okay. I was uh, just about the activities that you're involved in. Oh. I didn't even okay. offer to say that you play tennis, which is on your lovely polo there, but okay. feel free to talk about that and anything else that you might do. Um, I play tennis, uh, as you know, <laughs> and um, a lot of things that I'm involved are mostly ap academic. I just recently started sports, as you can tell, but um, I got involved with sports recently because I wanted to live a healthier life and I was inspired by people doing sports to be healthy and doing all these things to help them better themselves and that's what I decided to do. And ever since the ninth grade I've been involved in very academic um, extracurricular activities like a yearbook I'm doing this year, National Honor Society which is an amazing program run by an amazing woman. Miss mm -hmm. Colfer. Mrs. Colfer is the best teacher I could have ever asked for. She, she has made my experience at Lincoln West not only good but exceptional. And there are so many other programs that are different from everywhere else. Mm -hmm. um, Esperanza which is uh, helping students who either don't know Spanish or help them or don't know English and who help them uh, understand their schooling and help with schooling and stuff like that and um, we are I believe one of the only high schools who actually have a swimming pool that is usable <laughs> and I think that is an amazing thing because we do offer a lot of different things that some high schools may not offer. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the things that makes our school absolutely exceptional. Yeah, we it's just sort of been taken for granted within this conversation because we know about the school, but uh, Lincoln West is extremely diverse. Uh, how many 40 some different languages and nationalities represented there. How did that help with your learning and impact your environment and make you probably a better student, better person? It helps us understand the different cultures that everybody else has. It helps us not only understand our culture, but our neighbor's culture, our, our friends' cultures. And it helps us, in a sense, better ourselves and make us less ignorant in the way we walk about the world. Any other? Uh, um, well, yeah. <laughs> no, that's, so, that's fine. She did well, a good job. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, just, you know, knowing that there's others out there that we don't know about. Like, I didn't know anything about uh, Nepalese. I was like, what is that? I Only Nepal and I know is some Nepalian ice cream. <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> um, <laughs> they basically just, um, with what I was telling you about our cultural fest, um, it helps a lot with, you know, preparing for the outside world because when you go to college you know everything is basically you know someone's coming from here someone's coming from there and you're not used to that so you're trying to adapt to that person's how do you say way of life mm -hmm. and it, we, we're already prepared for it basically we get to meet people from Africa Asia and Japan and stuff like that and it's just amazing you know they teach us their way of life and in return we teach them ours but um, really at Lincoln West we're just you know an invested school 
Mm -hmm. So we look to comfort everyone. That's why I take so much pride in being a, being a part of the Wolverine family, because you know, you, there's so many of us in so many different um, cultures and races that you know, you just get comforted in, in every way. So. Mm -hmm. Brian, anything else to add? They did do a pretty good job. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the best part about like all the other countries and cultures that are in the school is that it helps you feel just as accepted as when they accepted you when you accepted them. Mm -hmm. So like everyone's polite to each other. They see each other around the hallways and they don't think of what they're wearing, how they look, or how they speak. And it's just great because like it helps us all communicate with each other. So like in case if one person knows one thing that you don't, you could ask them. Mm -hmm. And you could all communicate with each other and it could help you during your entire school life. Okay. Um, oh, do you have something? Oh, Marcus. Okay. <laughs> um a wise woman once told me, it's not what you know. It's who you know. And the fact that we have so many different cultures in our school, the fact that we know what their culture is like by speaking to them and by enjoying ourselves through the traditions of their culture, it's a truly amazing experience and I think it betters everybody else rather than us not knowing and in the long run not understanding the bigger picture. So I'm going to ask you guys sort of some in-depth, if you will, questions. Now we're just going to have a little quick fun. Uh, fill in the blank. Lincoln West High School is? Amazing. Great. Fantastic. Okay. Awesome. I liked all of those. Fantastic, amazing, and great. Can't go wrong with them. All right. So now um, let's talk about what, um, what advice you might have for students out there, other students, whether it's at Lincoln West or just across the district. Um, you know... At Lincoln West, it's not your ordinary high school experience. Like going in as a sophomore, coming from uh, Thomas Jefferson, and even coming out of state, you know, uh, in Kentucky where I was raised, it's that high school experience. You know, you're scared of the seniors, you're scared of the juniors, you just don't want to be around those upperclassmen. But when you come to Lincoln West, they just accept you with open arms, and you know, you're. You're a Wolverine, so there's no reason to try to pick on you or do the little, um, you know, senior pranks and stuff like that. We just treat you like you're our equal. Okay. My advice would be like, if you don't want to come to Lincoln West, it's all right. There are many other schools you could pick. There's not just one school. It's like a thousand other ones all around the world, <laughs> and. Just like, it doesn't matter where you come from, how you look, how you speak, it just matters like what you learn from other people, which will make you more accepted into the world. Okay. My advice would be to people is learn as much as you can. Don't ever take for granted the fact that a free education is something that is available here. And take every moment you can to absorb the most that you can because it's an amazing experience and since my ninth grade year I have had the most amazing teachers the most amazing staff and one of the best counselors Miss Henry <laughs> one of the best counselors I could ever ask for and it's a truly invigorating experience to be a part of Lincoln West even to be a part of the, uh, the, <laughs> I forgot what it was called, even one of the part of the international schools, it's mm -hmm. a better chance to learn the most that you can. On that note, actually, how have you guys been making the most of your high school experience there? Sounds like you're very involved, um, so. Um. Really, I've just been taking it all in because, mm -hmm. you know, not every, like she said, you know, you take advantage of a free education. And with the school that I used to come, uh, with the school that I used to go to before mm -hmm. Lincoln West, you know, you had to test in, you had to get accepted in, mm -hmm. you had to pay certain fees in order to go to that school. And, 
you know, it was kind of hard keeping up with the funds and stuff like that. So, you know, getting a free education and basically it's just coming from a background where you, like me personally, I live in an urban area. So it's kind of hard, you know, not knowing if you're gonna be able to wake up the next morning with all the violence that's going on today. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, like I said, I'm just taking it all in and it's a privilege to not only be able to go to high school, but to go to a high school as amazing that as amazing as Lincoln West and um, that's I think all the staff Miss Henry that's like my mom Dr. Javier she supports me through everything and I mean everything like when I'm having problems with um, school or even at home she's there for me and that's not only with just Dr. Javier that's with the whole staff my teachers I love them dearly they just care so much and when they say you're a part of the Wolverine family you're really in their hearts and it means the world to me. Sounds like you're really thankful for every day. Yeah. I mean you're not letting it pass you by. Oh and um, one thing I wanted to tell you um, <laughs> the things that I've actually learned from the Nepalese, mm -hmm. uh, Nepalian sometimes, yeah. um, when they speak to you um, some of them say namaste mm -hmm. which means I respect you, you respect me and that's how they greet you, and that's how they end their conversation. So if you ever run into a Nepalese, you know what to say. Good to know. And now I know I think how I'm going to end this whole segment with you guys, yes, huh? Namaste, that's how I say it? Okay, yes, I'll namaste. keep that in mind. All right, thank you. Thank <laughs> you, Franz. Okay, and how are you making the most of your whole experience at Lincoln West? The best whole experience of Lincoln West is going really great. I mean, but the best part about taking different languages every year is that instead of you just learning just the language, you get to learn about their culture, how they live, other parts of where you're, of where you're learning, and, the and it makes you want to go there. Of course, the best part for me is the food. <laughs> I mean, the new not, not the school district approved lunches, <laughs> but <laughs> the food that we sell at the concession stand. Okay. <laughs> but like the food that the teachers, they let us know about, the chicken, the pork, everything, the other, all different types of different foods from all over the world. I mean, it's just like the best because yes, <laughs> kind of makes you hungry. Yeah, you're, go make, over I was there. Just say, you're making me hungry. <laughs> should we just should this a namaste and let's go get some food? <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> it's all there. Okay. And it's just great because like you learn about it, and when you head over there, you make a trip over there. You know what you're looking at, and you know how to treat other people, and you know how to say hello, goodbye. I want this. I want that. <laughs> And it's just great because it gives you a whole experience of, instead of just where you live, the whole experience about the entire world. And if you don't want to go there, you could probably teach somebody else about that if they want to go there. Great. Um, question. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, we keep coming to you at the end. That's okay. I asked how you're making the most of your high school experience at Lincoln West. Um, I make the most out of my experience by getting the best that I can out of everything. Um, the staff is truly exceptional. They welcome you in as if you were family, as if you've known them for a long time. And a lot of the staff at our school are Wolverines themselves. They have came, they graduated from the school and came back to enjoy the most amazing school ever. And I make the best out of my school from Learning the other cultures that are in our school and learning the best way to not deal with, but like talk to and cooperate with everybody to make sure that we are the best we can be as a school personally and is as a whole. Excellent. So we've kind of reflected on a lot. Now I want to know, you two are seniors, you're a junior. What are your goals? What is your vision? How does it feel to be graduating? I mean, <laughs> um, it's a lot going on at the yeah. end of this year. <laughs> graduating is not one of my, you know, moments that I'm waiting for. <laughs> because I love the school so much. It's like I've done so much. I've put so much work in. And not only me, but, the, you know, Dr. Ivory here just coming in and she's turning the whole school around, you know. 
it's just, just I don't, I don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my goal, I really just want to be able to come back to Lincoln West. So once I get my master's and become um, a high school math teacher, I'm coming right back to Lincoln West, and you know, hopefully, I, I can coach the football team. You know, anything that will just have me more involved in our school. I just want to be that poster child for, for Lincoln West. I think you're well uh, on your way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Um, like, I think one way I decide to look at it is the faster I graduate, the faster I get to come back. Because I would abs I mean, I clearly don't want to fail a grade to, <laughs> to come back, but right. the faster I graduate, the faster I come back. And I think one thing that a lot of the students say always is I can't wait to come back. I can't wait when I graduate to come back. And me, I can't wait personally until I'm 18 so that I can go to school, hopefully locally, because I love the city of Cleveland. The city of Cleveland is my home and it will forever be my home. And I will, if I couldn't like if I couldn't leave I would be just fine with that because Cleveland makes me so happy to be here that we've truly came up from nothing we have been torn down and broken apart and we've rebuilt ourselves to be the best we can be and I don't imagine being anywhere else but here so now we have the poster child for Cleveland as well. <laughs> All right, Brian. <laughs> what about you? Um, you still have another year to think about yeah, it. Yeah, I have a whole other year, but <laughs> my mind is more on, like, since I'm in JROTC, is mm -hmm. able to give me a glance about how the Army is like. Mm -hmm. So that's, for me, for now, that's what I'm planning on doing after high school. Like, after high school, I feel like graduating, probably taking a two-year college and heading out to the Army. <laughs> Poster child for Lincoln West, Cleveland, and America. Yeah. <laughs> we got it all covered. Wow. And now you, you can have this job. That was perfect. Man, you Yay. took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So um, I think we're kind of finishing up here. But how about this? What has been your favorite part about just this school year so far? Because it sounds like you guys have a lot of nice memories. So let's just do it from this school year so far. Um, coming back, you know, seeing, I, I was at school all summer, you know. <laughs> so, but um, just... Coming back and seeing all the new students, the returning students, you know, um, coming back to old friends and not just like classmates, but the staff. I, I just love the staff so much because they care so much about us. Like, and my downtimes, my, and, you know, um, just going through all the hardships of, you know, the stress of trying to get to college or anything like that. They're just there, and they tell me I have no worries. So, um, you know, just talking to them and being able to reconnect with them, that has been the highlight of the year so far. Great. Um, I think probably my best moment this year is probably, like, I think, as he said, coming back. Like, it's been a, it was, summer was really boring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone's out on vacation, and you're just in your room, just playing video games or whatever. That's what happens but when you get to high school. Summer starts to get boring. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I think my second best moment, because I have two of them, I think would probably be coming here, because I've never actually been on TV. <laughs> Aw, <laughs> great answer. <laughs> we like that one. Okay. Well, thank you. We're happy to have you here. And we'll end it here. So nam once again, namaste. namaste. And thank you guys so much for being here. And if you want to be on the next edition, you should be. Get in touch with us so you can look just as nice as all of these wonderful students.